Alright, wait it. Okay, Dick Wagner and Susie Michelson, take two. And let me say this about that, okay? <laughs> Susie and I have been in business together for 10, 11 years, whatever, because I asked her to form a production company with me. And then later on into the business, she became my personal manager because she handles all my business and um, she, she's, she's tremendous. Hey, hey, hold just for a second. Uh, Susie, would you close his jacket? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Pull it. Yeah. Pull it. Yeah. Pull it. Yeah. Pull it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Please. Thank you very much. You have to sit straight. Yeah, because I had to reframe. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Go on. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Wait, I wait, asked wait, her. Wait, wait, wait. Start again. Okay. I asked her to become my manager. I I was kind of floundering and and I was very sick, mm. you know, and and she was doing everything for me, like get, finding me doctors and doing all this stuff. So I asked her to be my become my manager, and she said okay. Because I was obviously insane. Because she was insane. Yes. She still is, but I know. Um, the whole St. Jude's thing came about because of the autograph show. They started talking to her about me being one of the guys to sign autographs, and it was for St. Jude's. So she said, well, why don't you have Dick write a song for St. Jude? And so that's how it started. Um, I have nothing to do with this, really. I mean, she put this whole thing together. I, I, I did a few things, including writing the song and producing the record. Pretty important part. But, but if you look at the back backdrop of the whole thing, this is the person who is responsible for it all. Well, then I called St. Jude, and I found the person in charge of the celebrity relations. Her name is Terry Watson, and I spoke to her. And I spoke to someone I knew who was on the board of St. Jude's, who happens to also do marketing with rock and roll people, Maria Bruner. She's one of the board members for 17 years, and she handles Eric Clapton and John Bon Jovi and some other high-profile artists. And I told them what we were doing. And at first they were a little like, oh well, you know, people come to us all the time with these ideas. And, uh, and I said, well, it's all about execution, and you know, we're gonna make this happen. So they, uh, over the course of time, I I developed a rapport and they recognized what we were doing. And then speaking to so many different talented people, like the team of Jeremy Lanny, Noble Savage, and Enzo Joe Bay, and uh, all the people that have been brought in here and Sunset Sound Studios, a 51-year-old studio. And we've just had so much acceptance from talented, super talented people that were so giving to St. Jude. Guitar Center coming on board as a sponsor, Korg USA, Black Star. Um, it just became a package that was just uh, irrefutable to them. And so t today at the recording sessions, we had people from St. Jude there, and we had as well as these incredible musicians. And uh, it's so gratifying to us to have the response and the uh, t to make this happen. He wrote this song that all these artists have found charming. And I would say that listening to it all day as it's being recorded, it, it, it retains this really attractive quality, both lyrically and melodically. Yeah, well, he's a, he's a craftsman. He's a songwriter. And really, your production, you're directing people and inspiring them and making everybody feel like they were giving their best and wanted to give their best. That's that's what a great producer or director does. And yet, because of the other side of a production, other than the music and the musicians and all, there's so much that goes on behind that, that I made her my co-producer, not just my manager, my business partner. She's the co-producer on this record. and. She's the best co-producer that I've ever had when I did a production. Well, thank you. She's like uh, just so strong in everything she does. And people respond to her. In the same way they respond to me as Dick Wagner, whatever that is, whoever that is, they respond to her in the same way. 
And it's terrific to see because she deserves it. No, oh, I love it. I mean, it's it's about having passion for what you do and wanting to do it in the highest quality way so that it's compelling. And and in this case, it's, it's heartwarming to do something like this in such a beautiful way with so many wonderful people. And then when you get an idea, like I was struggling up till this morning, what was I going to do with this song? Like, I already made a demo of it, but it was like a straight ahead song. And then I had to think about what am I going to do with this? And so I finally got the arrangement in my mind and taught it to the people. And now we have the product. I mean, it's, it's really good. He has this great oral vision, A U R A L, you know, just this. It, it's like um, some 19th century composer. I'm a visionary. <laughs> That's great. Okay. I mean, do you have any more? Yeah. Yeah. No, That's I'm happy. Perfect. Perfect. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> well, a couple of photos. Okay. okay. And that would yeah. be great. Okay, good. I realize I don't have any.